Hey guys, it is me, Ian, Tin Man, whatever kind of name you want to call me, but I got something really interesting. This is my fourth finding of an eagle skull, okay? It's like a little burial kind of something that I feel they go through. I don't know if anybody has found them to the same degree as me, guys. I'm going to show you evidence again here. And I'm not going to tell you about my other three right now. I've talked about them before in the past. I'm just going to talk about... Oh, yeah. So there's... Yeah. So at this little spot I'm going to show us right now, there is also four more little spots that really stand out. And i got a few minutes here. So I'm going to show it to you. Make sure you share this. Make sure you start talking about me and so on and so forth and try to chat and try to figure things out and try to have a community here on our channel and show it different than other channels unless you're part of the community on other channels and not much community here. I know I'm not very interesting, but I'm results. I'm research. I'm boring maybe. Hard to follow sometimes. But nobody brings just four now eagle skulls. Okay, and with a bunch of other bones and some cool stuff that's going to be going on here. So let's take a pee, uh, check at it. So I came here. Came here and cleaned out my van. You can see uh, very dirty, mossy stuff that was under my seat here in my van. And I had a bad leak and I didn't realize it. And it poured all through my bed, all through and... Uh, and Thankfully, just accumulated there and nothing else got contaminated. So that is becoming waste. Oh, yeah. And also, go to my community page here in my channel. Go up to the little circle of me or something. Click on it. Go in. You'll see this list of things. Go to my community page and scroll through all those stuff, man. You'll find some amazing pictures in there and some so on and so forth. But anyways, today I'm going to show you, if you like to know, a Took a picture with me, my daughter, at this little camp that I'm at here. So you can see the likes of it or something like that through that. Can't zoom. Okay, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so let's just um, go back, go right into this. Two minutes and 40 minutes into it. 40 seconds. So anyways, there is our eagle culprit right there. I've already picked him up so I'm going to pick him up again. And so if anybody wants to confirm, talk about it, we can. But I've found, I have found um, four more eagle skulls. Or three other eagle skulls. And one thing about them, they really remind me of snake heads. The skulls. Or snake skull. And um, I had a lot of practice with uh, snakes, so I was in snake husbandry myself for a number of years, so um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's an eagle skull really looks at it, like it so if anybody can help confirm some of these other bones then for me that one it seems like it would be under the chin somewhere in there and then this kind of neat thing here see the structure inside so anybody wants to see this better, the camera should be picking it up pretty good. We just heard a big bang there. That's not coming from a mill, but it's trying to be impersonated like it's coming from a mill. See that? Interesting little bit of hair there. Eh? So, and then we got this vertebrae right here. Remember, there's a, there's more to this. So, if you have to take off or something, come back and watch the rest of this. And one thing I want you to realize is you can, you may not be able to notice it so much here. It looks like it's been scuffed and stuff. But you really, when you get into the scuffing here, that's what made me notice. Actually, I noticed this one first. So I came over here to the scuff. Do you see the scuff zone? 
This is the big scuff, but when you look at all this stuff here, it's like it's all been placed. I think something just hit me in the head. Unless it was a good raindrop. Not funny. Anyway, so we got this one. And then... So why, the reason why I brought up the... My daughter was here with me. I'm going to show on that community page um, a picture of us, or her, and where we were parked here. And... Even while she was here, I never walked over this far into it. I started looking at these and realizing, oh, they're kind of two in line. I wonder if there could be a third. And there, in, there is one over there, but this one is nicer. So you really get a something out of this. And you can really see how the difference in the rock and such are. You see that? The difference in the coloration of the rock of this one. See if I go like this and try to change it a bit. I'm going to go back to that one and do that. I, you know, it looks like stuff is played around here and stuff, like even right there. Because I believe, like, I've gotten that indication many times that they're just sitting somewhere and they're just playing around with the stuff around. It's not necessarily fully some kind of a ritual thing. It's just artistic, maybe. But then you get into the one with all the bone left behind stuff here. And let me do the color difference here. If anybody wants wants to take pictures of those or something like that, they can. And I'm going to take us to. I'm not sure if I did get us on that fourth one or not. But it's kind of interesting how you can see the whole area of where it is. Okay, so what did I think it was? Of here, you know, maybe I was trying to analyze and nothing fully stood out. I think that's more what it is, but you know, you kind of see a little something there, but maybe not so. You can kind of say, see where I am, and when we go across the road here, why is Zoom not working? This just seems so weird. Anyways, across the road there, you might be able to see some dark shadowing, so let me put one in the middle there for you. So I'm just going to do like I'm going to do a sweep, and then, okay, so right in center right now is some pretty good shadowing and stuff. What's going on with my, uh, my lighting? And then that one, that tall tree there's got some good stuff in it. Oh yeah, there's lots going on in that over there because I've been here for three hours. So they're just over there chilling and watching. And then over this way, Yeah, back over that way would be where the popo tree is. Sorry I don't get to do a better zoom. It's kind of a bummer, but let's see if we can get any peekers in here for you. Which they'll be in here. This built up uh, mound is big. It's built up a lot. People just aren't realizing they're just freaking everywhere. You can see a little accumulation of stuff right there that it looks like they've played around. Somebody's played and made a different kind of a pile there and stuff. I know, like my daughter, when she came here, she gets out of the vehicle and she goes, what's all this stuff, all this rock? And so I went through it explaining to her that it's some kind of a mortar that somebody has at one time come and dumped here. And now it's become a, like a spread out, uh, um, nice patch. And it's part of the opposite of what you might 
get lots of times when you notice, hey, I think that garbage that's all over the place, I don't think that's necessarily the homeless or some guy who just dumped it off, did it like that. Something else is going through it. You know how lots of times you think that? Bingo again. Okay? So remember to bring everything in. You see a vehicle weaving and way, you know, all over the road, coming down the road? Think for yourself, is that a drunk guy? Is it a crazy woman? Or is it a Bigfoot? <laughs> and, okay, Bigfoot, it's, they're not gone there yet, right? So you can bump that one out then. But you're talking to a guy who pretty much does that with almost uh, any oddity that pops out at me. And then I have a whole list of what their oddities are. Like, now, I can go to four ego skull burial findings amazing stuff guys don't forget to go to my community page and check some stuff out cheers from the tinster let's get some good echoing from them Cheers everybody.